So today we're going to be trying to do the brakes on my F-150 because when I did the oil pan last week and I had the front wheel off, I actually looked at the brakes and the brake pads are almost down to nothing. I'm just going to check the back brakes real quick just to see if I need to swap those out as well or just do the front brake pads. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Adrian. I have two 2004 Ford F-150s. One is like a pre-runner build. Another one's more of a daily driver right behind me. So I just make videos working on my trucks and taking them out on adventures. My channel is still relatively new. So if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, please leave a comment down below and check out my channel for more videos. But here is the truck that we're working on today. So this is the truck that we just did the oil pan on. I just recently recently did the timing job on this truck, the oil pan, new spark plugs, a whole bunch of maintenance stuff. This thing has new AC compressor, a new condenser, all the AC components, a new radiator and transmission cooler. I bought it with over 200,000 miles, so obviously it needed some maintenance to keep it on the road, but this thing is an absolute beast. So I've never done brakes on this truck, so I don't know when the last time this truck got new brakes. So I'm just gonna pull this wheel off real quick to get a better look at the brake pads. I have all my lug nuts off and my wheel is not coming off. I tried kicking it, I tried hitting it from the back, and it's just not coming off. So I'm assuming there's probably just like some rust on those threads like back there on the actual like hub where the wheel's attached to it. Ugh, I'm out of breath because I've been kicking so hard. So I just sprayed in some uh, like rust penetrant, some PB blaster on there. I'll let it soak for a little bit and then I'll give it a couple more kicks and hopefully the wheel will come off. Okay, so I finally got that wheel off. If you guys look at the backside, you can see that there is just like surface rust. These things just need to be cleaned up, so. But if you look back here, my brake pads, eh, they're not the worst, but they're not the best, so for an extra 30, 40 bucks, I'll pick up some rear pads as well, and we'll change them out. Might as well just put fresh brakes all around. All right, so since my truck's already in the driveway and pretty much ready to go, I decided to take the pre-runner to go right to the store. Uh, right now, I don't have a radio, so that kind of sucks. I'm just gonna listen to myself talk for a little bit. So before I go to AutoZone, I gotta run to my storage unit so I can grab a C-clamp for the brake jog. And then also I'm just gonna run and fill up the truck with some gas. Yeah, there's a clean F-150 over there. Dang, phone zooms in pretty far, nine times. If you guys look back here, you can see all the way in the front, there's my stock factory gas tank. And then normally the gas filler would be over here in your bedside, but mine's sealed up. So I have some tubing that goes from your factory filler, like rubber hose, and it goes all the way up. And it's just mounted along my bed cage and then bolted in right here. There used to be like a filler tube, but I was having smog issues. So that's a factory filler neck now that I mounted there. So now everything works like stock. So you put that in there and you can lock the fuel pump. And since it has a return line, it'll actually do like an auto shut off. So my truck didn't have that before. There we go. So it pops off just like normal. Let's see. 21 gallons for 78 bucks. 21 and a half gallons. I think this is a 24 gallon tank, so that's not too bad. Under 100 bucks, cheaper than it was not that long ago. Had to come here just for a C clamp, so I don't want to buy another one. Got some front and rear brake pads. They're just Duralast semi metallic brake pads, nothing special, uh, but they're pretty cheap, so that's what I stick with. I'm back home, so park that truck. Set this one up in the driveway so I can get started, get these brakes done. Man, after taking everything apart, I can see again now that both sides, upper control arm ball joints are completely torn. Uh, my sway bar links don't look too good either. So it might be time for a little suspension overhaul on the truck. It's just hard. I don't know if I want to do aftermarket stuff or just go back to OEM. By aftermarket, I mean like upgraded, not just aftermarket OEM. So we'll have to see about that. Um, in the meantime, I mean, do too much hard driving on the truck it's just on the road so should be okay i'd like to do some oem level coilovers of some type to replace the spacer and then maybe some two upper control arms and just kind of give it a little bit of a performance upgrade up here but anyways let me just get these front brakes done and then flip it around do the back brakes should be pretty quick and easy all you really need is hand tools some brake grease a c-clamp to push the uh, piston back in and obviously the brake pads that you're replacing. The important thing for now is just to get some fresh brake pads on this sucker. So it's a 13 millimeter bolt holding your caliper on. So there's gonna be two of them. Whenever I do stuff like brakes, where it's the same on both sides, I like to do one side at a time, just so that I have a reference side. So if I forget how a pin goes or one of these brackets, I can look at the other side and just reverse it and put it over here. So once those two bolts are off, you can actually just pull your caliper off your caliper is attached to your brake line, so when they come off, you wanna make sure that you either use some kind of tie, like a tie down to hang it up here, or if you can, set it like on your control arm, just so that it's not just hanging off of the brake line. So once you have your caliper off, like I said, you're gonna to wanna to set it up here. It looks like it can hang on top of the tie rod, 
without falling over and pulling on this brake line too hard. So it's sitting over there now. There are some anti-rattle clips, so if your brakes don't come with new ones, you wanna make sure that you save these. And then after that, your brake pads should just come right out. You might have to use a pry bar and some love, but here's my old brake pads. So those are gonna come right on out. Look, they were already cracked. And you're gonna to wanna to hold on to these because we're gonna use it to press in your caliper pistons. So hold on to one of these. Also hold on to them just so you can make sure that the brakes that you got are the right kind. You can put them in the same way that these ones came out. So look at the difference. Look at how much pad life are on the new ones compared to these ones. So these pistons, they're gonna have to get pushed in pretty far to be able to clear these brake pads. But like I said, I just like to verify. You can see that this little bump right here is in the same spot on these. The tabs are exactly the same. So I just like to make sure that I got the right pads just based on shape alone. And then you can start test fitting them in there. But obviously we still have to press in the piston before we slide that back over. What you can do at this point too is if you want to clean out these little slides just make sure that there's no debris obviously you can tell there's a lot of grime gunk and rust built up between these so you want to make sure that these slide in with no problem so sometimes these clips are all bent up so you just want to be careful and make sure that these will go in with no problem and if not use a little wire brush some brake cleaner and clean it off so i'm going to go ahead and just clean it just a little bit and see if i can fit mine in there we go you can see that i have the brake pads both in there they fit with this pin and these tabs everything lined up perfectly so now I'm just gonna go ahead and we're gonna press in these pistons and then it should slide right back over these brake pads. Okay, so it looks like they're gonna fit now. So before we put them on, we're gonna put these anti-rattle springs into the brake pads. What these do is they prevent like brake pad shimmy or rattle noises by giving the brake pads just a little bit of pressure so it holds them away from the rotor while you're just driving. So that way they only go together as you're braking. So these just kind of put some pressure on it and keep them pulled away. And also I got some brake grease because I'm actually gonna grease up these slide pins. This grease is old and dried up. So these pins are actually where the bolt goes to that's holding on your caliper. But these actually slide in and out a little bit when you push your brakes. So these have some movement to them. So we're gonna pull these out, clean them up, and then grease them up. Okay, now that those are in, we'll do the anti-rattle. They're the same. So literally you're just gonna grab these pinch it together there's a little hole in the caliper and it just goes right in so same thing on the bottom just put them straight into the little holes in the calipers release and they go right in so there you go now we can take our caliper that we already have the pistons pressed in now we can slide that over and then we're gonna get a little bit of Loctite and put it on these brake bolts, just blue Loctite, not anything too permanent. All right, so there we go, that's it for this side. I'm gonna put the wheel and tire back on and then go to the other side and do the same thing. Okay, so one of the reasons I was telling you guys I was excited to get the truck done was to be able to explore more with my family. <laughs> There's my daughter. So we came out to the mountains to check out some snow. We have our dogs with us. So that was the truck's little maiden voyage after the brake job. And I think we're gonna do a little trail on the way back to town. There's a little turn off and there's a trail that we can do. So the brakes were a success and it was kind of a simple job that was real quick. So I just wanted to show you guys that you could do your brakes at home. <laughs> okay, so we just got out of the snow. This is my little dog sanctuary thing to protect the seats and just keep the mud and crap out of the truck so it just kind of hooks up to all the headrests and then has zippers on the side to zip shut and then since i have my daughter back there i just make it work i just tie it across the sides that way they can't get all the way to her and it keeps all their hair and drool off of them they had their sunglasses on out in the trail did you have fun sophie yeah, I did. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> okay so you guys can see the mountains over there have a whole bunch of snow on it so we went and checked out the snow for a little bit poop. and then we came out <laughs> That's not poop, that's a burnt stick. So we came out and did this little trail up onto here. It's not a crazy trail, but but just do some exploring, take the truck out. Like I said, I haven't been driving it too much. Just since the old pan has been leaking, it was parked for a little while. So the truck is back on the road and able to come out. Somebody left their fire pit burning. So if it's not all the way burnt out before we leave, we'll put some water on it because you're supposed to put water on it and clean it up before you leave. But so we got some fresh brake pads all the way around. So I guess you can say the truck has some good stopping power now. You can really tell the difference. The brake pads were super low. The brake pedal is just so much more firm now. So I'm glad I did that. It's super cold out here though. So we're just gonna explore for a little bit and then finish off the trail and then head back home. I just had to show you guys one last clip. This trail is going through like a little bit of snow runoff. So it's like super muddy. So you guys can see that there's mud it's not like crazy all down the side but it is caking up in there 
So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to take it to pressure washer and clean the crap out of it, but it is so nice out here. And this is literally the reason why I own a truck. This is why I love having it. It's why I love having full driving this truck. It's just to have my family out and just enjoy being outside a little bit. So if you guys have a truck, make sure you remember what they're capable of, what they can do. All right, well, it's cold out here. I just want to jump out and show you guys all that mud and how it's looking. But thank you guys for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So guys, today we're actually at the snow and I actually touched the snow. And you can see my boots are on the snow. And I snowed in the truck and my dog's on the like green running stuff and like bye <laughs>